Hello listener. Welcome to our channel. Uh, in this channel we talk about Kiswahili content. Um, we believe we can help you to speak and write Kiswahili even when you don't know anything. Um, in our last lesson we were talking about uh, the origin of Kiswahili uh, where we have three theories that try to explain the origin of Kiswahili. Uh, if you want to check on the first theory, uh, check on our videos on this channel and subscribe so that you will know about Kiswahili. Um, this theory too states that Kiswahili is a mixture of uh, African language and uh, foreign languages. That is what they say. Uh, the people who hold to this statement, uh, they say that uh, there was no Swahili language in uh, in East African coast before the coming of early visitors to the African coast. They say that Kiswahili came up as a need, as they need, they needed a language to communicate between uh, African people and the foreigners who came to East African coast. Uh, they also try to say that a Kiswahili is a mixture of uh, languages that are uh, from Asia. Talk about uh, three big languages that uh, have a big role in Kiswahili. That is that is Arabic language, uh, Hindi language, and the Persian language. Those are the three languages that are said to play a big role in Kiswahili, and of course, the African uh, languages, that is Bantu languages. Uh, kwa Kiswahili, tunasema kwamba, uh, tunangalia uh, nadharia ambazo usimulia chimbuko la Kiswahili. Uh, tunangalia nadharia ya pili kwa sababu tuliangalia nadharia ya kwanza katika uh, kipindi kilichopita katika kipindi hiki uh, tunasema kwamba uh, nadharia hii husema uh, kwamba lugha ya Kiswahili ni mchanganyiko wa lugha za Kiafrika na lugha za kigeni wanaoshikilia maoni haya wanasema kwamba hapakuwepo na lugha ya Kiswahili katika bara la Afrika ama katika eneo la, la Afrika Mashariki kabla ya kuja kwa wageni. Wanashikilia kwamba lugha Kiswahili iliibuka baada ya kutaka mawasiliano ama katika kuikidhi lile hitaji la kutaka kuwasiliana kati ya wa, watu wa eneo la, la Afrika Mashariki na wale ambao walikuwa wamefika pale katika kufanya biashara. Wanasema kwamba Lugha hii hilibuka na walichanganya maneno ya kimbantu na kuchanganya maneno ya kutoka lugha za kiarabu, kihindi na kiajemi. Aa, na kutokea hapo lugha ya kiswahili ikachipuka na tio maana wanasema lugha kiswahili ni mchanganyiko, ni mchanganyiko wa lugha za kigeni na lugha za kimbantu ama lugha za kiafrika. Uh, we thank you for watching this video. We request you to hit the subscription button down there so that you can have more Swahili content. We have prepared many videos in this channel that you can get and learn about Kiswahili. Um, in our next video, we shall try to explain the Dante theory that explains the origin of Swahili. Uh, tunasema kwamba tunakushukuru sana kwa kutasako tazama samahani kwa kutazama uh, vipindi vyetu katika kipindi kijacho tuta tutaangalia tutajaribu kusimulia nadharia ya tatu ambayo inasimulia kuhusu chimbuko la Kiswahili uh, tunakukaribisha sana ili uweze